I'm here with handball player Mondo Ortiz. I just want to say congratulations. Players' Championship last year. That was an amazing one to watch you at the finals there. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I still didn't win the tournament, yeah. so I still got to prove something there. But I appreciate that. Always the fan favorite, though. Why do you think that is? I'm not, I have no clue. I just I feel like I put my, my heart out on the court, and I feel like play, I, you know, fans will really just look at that and, uh, and they like it. I just put my, my heart to it. Talking about yourself, which is kind of hard to do, but how would you describe yourself as a player and a person as far as handball goes? As a player, I am like a, a aggressive player. I like to like to put my opponent like to rush things out, you know, get him going. And and for me, outside of him, I feel like I'm a, I'm a I mean, stay humble, you know. Don't let a lot of things get to me, and you know, be friendly, be respectful to others, and and life will go on good. Besides handball, what do you say is the most important thing to you? Uh, besides handball, let's see. My family, my family, my handball family, you know, that's all I got. Talk a little bit about your family. You have a brother and a sister. All of you played handball yeah. growing up. That's yeah, how you got into it? Yeah, we have a big it? family. I mean, all my, my fathers, they played, my grandfather played. Uh, we came to the streets of L.A. and we started playing big ball. Then some guy named Art Chavez came around and said, hey, you want to play small ball? So I played small ball and converted since I was like 11 years old and took off from there. I, I love this little picture that you have of you and Nadia Alvarado. You have the trophy. Did you win yeah. that? What went on with that? Yeah, that's amazing. Like I just recently seen that video and, uh, and it brought back memories when I was a little kid running around the courts and stuff like that. And I actually won my tro first trophy there and uh, it happened to Nadia be there and take a picture with him since I was, yeah, I was six years old. And how motivational was that for you then, kind of moving up into handball and learning about it and wanting to stick with it? Oh, now that I grew up, I appreciate so much more. Um, you know, it's, 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 I love the sport inside out. You know, you use your both hands, be ambidextrous. You know, you use a lot of mental aspect. It's just, I just love it. Yeah, to even be out there now, tell me a little bit about 2010. Hardest year of your life, probably. Oh, yeah, 2010 was a really, you know, it was it was hectic. You know, I was going to school at the time at Missouri State, and um, I was actually doing well in school, and uh, uh, playing, I was, you know, pretty, uh, playing around, the, you know, the, the states around there, and, and one time I just, I felt worried. I felt like, you know, I, like just, just, just my whole body shut down, and I felt like, well, why is this happening? Because, you know, I, I work out every day. I train for this, I train for that, so, so I went back home, get a checkup, and sure enough, I had to do with my heart. I was born with a heart murmur, and it was closing in on me, and my order was getting bigger than it should. So cardiologist said, yeah, you got to get open heart surgery as soon as possible. If not, you got six months to live. And I, like, I looked at the doctor, cardiologist, like, really? Like, come on, I never broke my bo a bone in my uh, in my whole life, and you got to you cut my chest open and you work on it? So that, that was a big, you know, huge, you know, I was going through a lot around that time. And look, a lot of more, a few things was in my personal life too, what went on that caused the problem too. So, but you know, I, I'm, I couldn't let this uh, bother me at all. I couldn't let, you know, let people talk about me, oh, Mondo's done after surgery. I, I know I got to come out somehow, some way. I need to come up. I need to get out of this hole and, you know, show, prove everybody wrong. And I feel like I did that. Was that you trying to be positive? Was that you having pride? What was it that kind of kicked in that made you become such a great player? I mean, it's like day? a little both. I have a lot of pride in me. You know, I have so much pride. I get that from my father. He has so much pride. He's very, very inspired. My cheese you know, that's what it is. And uh, yeah, that's where I get it from, you know. What do you love most about the sport? Uh, I love about the sport. We get to interact with other different people, like around the world too, you know. People come together. And uh, and just just be friendly as well, you know. Instead of you know we have this competitiveness going inside the court, but outside the court, everybody's all you know friendly. So that's what I love about the sport. From the I can't say it, the uh, the Kamari, the Kamari, the Kamari of sport. <laughs> yeah, me thinking about. Can you spell it? <laughs> yeah, spell it out. Yeah. So besides handball, what can people find you doing when you're not all out there practicing for handball? What are you doing on your off time? My off time is the uh, I I mean my off time is basically me. Going play handball, you know, like I mean, I know I it's it's, it's kind of like not the question, but I go out there, I cycle, I go to the beach, and um, you know, you see the beach view. I go play handball, I come back cycling, and I run out. Uh, you know, and I go to concerts too. 
You know, like that's that's a whole different issue. Like going out too with my friends, have a good time. You know, just don't think about just handball, handball, or work, or work. You gotta have something else to uh, to enjoy yourself. So I do, I do go to concert, go you know, go to football games. You know, go to SC. I'm an SC fan, of course. Really. Uh, yeah. I noticed that you're an LA boy. You like the Dodgers. Why the Heat? Why Miami Heat? I was noticing that you like Miami Heat. Yeah. I like the Miami. It's in your Facebook profile. You need to go in and change Miami that. Miami Heat. Yes, absolutely. No, 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 it no, no, no. Sports no. team. I'll I definitely got to go change that because I am <laughs> a Laker fan. I'm a Dodger fan. Anyways, last time Dodger won the World Series, that's the day I was born. 10 20, 1988. That's the very, very exact moment. I need to show you on your Facebook profile. Like no, Miami, no, no, what's that? What's no, 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 that all about? I gotta take that off. So work-wise, what do you do to for, stay alive? For work, um, I do uh, pipeline construction underground. We distribute water. Like we install from two inch to like 72 inch uh, water line, and uh, we run services and a lot of labor work. A lot of, you know, I, I love it. I love waking up early in the morning. Um, Get the brain going, get it flowing going, and then uh, start, you know, get a good workout in. You start dripping sweat like at seven o'clock in the morning, and um, you're off by like two or four o'clock, and uh, and there goes my training now. That was my, my training part one, now I go part two for my training. Have you always been into the construction and contracting type stuff? What it got you into that labor of work? Oh, uh, yeah, my, my father, my uncle, my grandpa, you know, my grandfather was in that same business. Uh, it's, reason why I picked that up and well re in reality like the reason why I went to construction because I needed health benefits so like I had to, I had to think something quick in order to get you know also any other sports that you played that handball helped out with though, of course I played I played football in high school I played baseball when I was younger I ran track I wrestled I um, pretty much did it all but you know I, handball was a if it wasn't for a handball I probably would be at much this athletic you know, be good as the other sports. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How did it help you? How did handball personally help you to overcome, you know, that whole heart surgery and everything that was, that was going on? Oh, at that definitely. Time? You know what? Handball did save my life. I tell you that. If I wouldn't play handball, I probably wouldn't be here. You know, my handball, all the cardio work, all the running stuff like that. My heart probably would. If I didn't play handball, my heart would probably give up a while back. What do you think is so great about the sport that some people might not realize? Uh, so great about the sport that uh, that's a tough question because it's everything is great about this sport. You go from using your, your mental aspect of the game, using your hand, your both hands, you're running for the ball, you're diving for it, running back to get the chase of the ball. So you know, I love everything, in sport, everything about this sport. How do you describe it to people who don't know the sport very well and are kind of like, why, why do you play? Oh, you just got to try it for yourself. You see how, much, how, how hard that is. I mean, I can't really say that. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. You know how much how hard it is, and you know us players just going out there and you know, you know, putting putting our body out there. And you, you guys will know. It's neat to see how much you guys travel all together, but you get to visit so many different places in the country. Is there one tournament, one spot, one thing a year that you really look forward to? Oh yeah, it's the Players Championship. I give them all, all of there, and I think a lot of people, all the people in handball knows that. You know, when it comes to like championship in the finals, I, I go all out. Which is, I should go all every pro stop, but I don't know, I feel like luck is in my hand too. You know, that's my, that's my, 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 uh, what do I say, like the, uh, that's my place to play. Like everybody have their course to play, that's my course. That's my, my court. And you asked if I would ask you this, so I'm going to, what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Yeah. Oh, my favorite food is in and out Nice. Burgers. There you have it. Open, we'll have those Open. for sure. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank we'll you. See you. All right, thank you very much. Edit, please.